Hey, Steve Stein here. Thank you so much for joining me for this course. We're going to be talking about what I call power chord creativity. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to manipulate and get more interesting ideas out of a power chord. But first, what we need to do is just talk about what is a power chord. Well, a power chord is a chord that is missing an, a crucial element, which is what we call the third. Now, when we talk about normal chords, for instance, we might be talking about G major. <laughs> D major, or D minor, or something like that. The note that makes the chord sound major or minor, which is what we call the third of a chord, and it's okay if you don't know what that is, but that's what it is. It's, it's what makes it sound happy or sad. Well, that note is missing on a power chord. So when you play a power chord, like for instance, if you play a six string power chord, like G, for instance, I go to the third fret and I play three, five, and five. That's a power chord. Now you can play two finger power chords, which is the sixth string and the fifth string, or you can play what we call a three finger power chord where you add the pinky on underneath. Now the reason you can do either or is because where the pinky is, this note is also G. This note is G and this note is G, okay? So the sixth and fourth strings are both G. Now, you don't have to have both Gs in there if you don't want to. You could just have one. Some people like to play two-finger power chords. Some people like to play three-finger power chords. I play both depending on where I'm at in a song and what it is I'm doing and what fingers are available. So it doesn't really matter to me which way, but just understand that that's what's happening is you're playing the root, what we call the fifth of the chord, which is G, uh, D. So we're playing G and D, and then we're playing a G again. So you can either play them with just two fingers like this, or you can play them with three fingers. Sometimes I play the two finger like this with my first and third fingers. Sometimes I play the uh, power chord like this with my first and my pinky. And again, my hands are pretty small, and so that's why I think sometimes that happens, but that's what I do. So when I go to play a power chord on the sixth string, I would play two finger or three finger. If I'm playing three finger, obviously I'm using all three of these. If I'm playing two finger, I might use this fingering. I might use this fingering. And again, it's for you to figure out what works best for you. So that's where we're at on a, on a sixth string. If we move to the fifth string, we're just moving everything down one string, and now we're on what we call a fifth string power chord. So when we get to a fifth string power chord, we're playing five, four, or five, four, and three for strings, okay? And you can play two finger or three finger. Again, same thing applies. The only difference is when you get to the fifth string, you don't want to strum the sixth string anymore. You know, you might notice a subtle difference between the two and the three finger, um, but you might not. Often, if, again, if it was mixed in a song, you'd never know. If I was doing it live on stage, you'd never know. Okay, so it isn't really about that. It's about comfort. Okay, so I've got my sixth string power chord, and my fifth string power chord. Now, I want to show you something that I think is kind of cool, is when I'm moving between the sixth string and the fifth string, okay, sometimes what I like to do is find a little shortcut so everything sounds a little more smooth when I move, because if you think about it, when I play like this, if I play my, my sixth string power chord like this, and then I want to play a fifth string, I got to pick everybody up and move them down. And that's okay. But there's a little shortcut that I tend to do a lot. And what I do is I make the sixth string as a three finger power chord. And then when I want a fifth string chord, what I do is I take my third finger off the guitar and I simply move this finger down one. Okay? So if you can look at it from, well, either angle will work just fine, but I'm taking this finger off the guitar and I'm moving the first finger down. And what you'll notice is the pinky stays the entire time. So not only is this kind of acting like a, an anchor for me, okay, so I can move back and forth quickly, okay, the sound of that string continues to ring out. <laughs> It just feels like I can get between the two chords more seamless uh, as opposed to doing it this way. So it, it, it sounds a little more smooth to me. So that's just another little trick to kind of prep everything else that we're going to be doing as we go through this course. Understanding how to make a power chord, the understanding of a two and a three finger power chord, and how to shift between those chords. Okay? Now as we keep going, we're going to...